Zodiac, a symbol that now stands for terror in San Francisco. Today, there was a possibly significant development in the terrifying case of the man who calls himself Zodiac and has boasted that he is responsible for five murders in the last nine months. In Zodiac's latest letter last week, he threatened to make a busload of school children his next victims. Since then, school buses have been discreetly guarded and parents' fears have openly risen. This morning, the people of San Francisco heard a man who claimed to be Zodiac talking on the air during a television conversation program with attorney Melvin Belli and the program's host, Jim Dunbar. That was the voice of a man who called himself the Zodiac Killer. He's talking to attorney Melvin Belli by phone on a television conversation show. This bizarre situation began at 2 o'clock this morning when the so-called Zodiac telephoned police headquarters. He said he was sick, he needed help, and he wanted to talk to Belli on television. All the scheduled guests were canceled from the show on the ABC station KGO. Belli waited for Zodiac to call on the private line. The phone was not tapped. The killer telephoned 12 times. He spoke very little with attorney Belli trying to draw him out. Jim. Jim said, well, maybe he's afraid of being beaten up or something like that now. Um, what, 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 what can I say? Well, why don't we just ask Sam to tell us a little bit more about what he's feeling right now. What you, tell us about uh, your, your feelings, Sam. You know, just tell us anything you want to. And then we'll come back and I'll give you a specific answer to this question when you're going to the gas chamber. Uh, stay with us so I can answer that for you. But uh, w w will you uh, attend on Jim just a minute and tell me, tell him what, what you're feeling or, or talk to us? Just tell us what's going on in, in, inside you right now, Sam, please. I have headaches. Right. How long have you had those headaches, uh, Sam? In a long time? Since I killed a kid. If, if it all boils down to the question of you're giving yourself up, if you could be assured that you wouldn't get capital punishment for my I don't son. Want to give myself I, up. Huh? I want to kill those kids. Bill, I finally arranged to meet Zodiac in Daly City, a suburb south of San Francisco, to talk in person. The attorney waited in an office building, but Zodiac never showed. I asked Bill I if he thought the man who called really was the Zodiac killer. I can't. Negative. I, I, I can't say. All I can say is this man needed help. This man seemed like a man who was coming up to a storm or to a climax. And th th this very blood-curdling thing. Children kill, and then the sort of an agonized uh, cutoff. And, Enough to turn your hair whiter than mine. So inside the thrift shop, St. Vincent de Paul, attorney Melvin Belli and the San Francisco police waited for the Zodiac killer. The man did not show. So now all we can do is wait perhaps for that next phone call from the man who calls himself Zodiac, who has killed five and says he's going to kill again. Dick Shoemaker, ABC News, San Francisco. We'll be back with more news in a moment.